Hello, I'm Dr. Tara Palmatier of shrinkformen.com. If you have a question or would like to schedule a session with me, you can reach me at shrinkformen at gmail.com. The topic of this video is what do narcissists mean by let's make a fresh start? Okay. So what do narcissists mean by let's make a fresh start? To paraphrase Inigo Montoya from The Princess Bride, it probably doesn't mean what you think it means. In my experience, narcissists, borderlines, and other emotionally manipulative people have their very own lexicon, which I have discussed in other, other videos and uh, articles. I believe if you want to search that, it's something uh, translating crazy or something like that. Anyhow, while the words may read and sound the same as their entries in the Oxford Dictionary, the meanings can be quite different. Hence, the Shrink for Men Narcissist Dictionary, that's hashtag Narcissist Dictionary, on your favorite social media platforms, uh, not quite yet on TikTok. I have opened account. I can't figure out how to use it, or actually, I'm not really interested in learning how to use it. I will at some point. This is more social freaking media. Ugh. Um, anyhow, Narcissist Dictionary is a series of memes I've been creating since 2017. The goal is to help folks become more aware of how narcissists and borderlines use words and phrases differently than normals do. And by normals, I mean your garden variety neurotics and codependents who have a conscience, try to act with integrity, take responsibility. Uh, for their choices and actions instead of playing victim when holding accountable, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Oftentimes the meaningly, or excuse me, excuse me. Blah, oftentimes we, I do this in one take, deal with it. Oftentimes the seemingly mundane words and phrases as used by emotional bullshitters don't mean what their audience think they mean. And audiences can include spouses, exes, children, family members, neighbors, teachers, attorneys, custody evaluators, mediators, and judges. See the potential problem? When communicating with a narcissist or borderline, it's vitally important to understand what the words they use mean to them versus how you understand them. Otherwise, you run the risk of making agreements and or assumptions under false pretenses. With narcissists and borderlines, I encourage you to consider the stark differences between what they say, what they don't say, what they actually mean, and what they actually do or don't do. For example, fancy narcissist says, I would never cheat on you. Now, understandably, you assume that means Nancy Narcissist isn't engaging in extracurricular intimate encounters. But wait, what didn't Nancy Narcissist say? The unspoken part is important. She didn't say, unless you do something to deserve it. At least not out loud. No. Did you ask Nancy Narcissus to explain what cheating means to her? Only pen penetration? Do blowjobs count? Does being with another man or woman count if you did something to make her angry before or after the act? Is sexting with her second ex-husband cheating? The devil is in the details, hidden between the lies or the lines, how ever you care to look at it. Now, factually, Nancy Narcissus cheated. However, in the NPD BPD rationalization distortomatic, she doesn't believe she cheated. And even if she did, you made her do it. Bad man, very bad man. So what do narcissists mean by let's make a fresh start? Well, fresh start is yet another instance in which a common phrase means something different to normals and codependents than it does to narcissists, psychopaths, histrionics, 
and borderlines or whatever configuration of character disturbance you're dealing with. Yes, 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 I know they're different diagnoses. However, many individuals who qualify for them have a potpourri of pathology from more than one disorder. And look at it this way. Does it really matter if it's a cage full of tigers, lions, cougars, panthers, jaguars, or other animal eating or man eating cats? Are you going to get into the cage with them? It's still going to be the same outcome. You're going to get seriously injured or possibly die. Okay. So if you are unsure what something means, to a narcissist or borderline spouse or colleague, whomever, ask them to be specific and provide examples. Now, if they don't blast you for questioning them, they may provide some vague platitudes or be honest and describe something that's incredibly one-sided in their favor, of course. Okay, so what do normals and codependents mean by let's make a fresh start? One, issues in the relationship are identified and examined. The couple agrees upon a mutually satisfactory plan to move forward and continues to work on their issues. Both parties own their respective baggage. They hold themselves and each other accountable without it devolving into a blame and shame grudge match. The couple understands it takes time and effort to repair and rebuild trust. Three, the couple is mindful of how their respective actions and attitudes impact one another. Both parties honor each other's vulnerabilities rather than exploit them to punish the other or to win. Although oftentimes to narcissists, et cetera, uh, punishing you is a form of winning, sick as that is. And four, after a fresh start, the past is left in the past unless one or both parties begins to engage in the old damaging behaviors again. Then the issues need to be reevaluated with all options explored, including ending the relationship. Okay, so what do narcissists mean by let's make a fresh start? One, a narcissist or borderline wants you to shut the hell up about their betrayals and cruelties. I mean, sheesh. Sleeping with your best friend was so 10 minutes ago. Aren't you over it yet? You're so sensitive. Besides, it's your fault anyways. You made them cheat on you because you insert favorite bullshit, blame shifting excuse here. Narcissists and borderlines want to leapfrog over their hurtful behavior, lies, and chronic selfishness and go right to the fresh start. They don't want to own their issues, nor do they want to discuss why they do what they do, nor do they want to answer questions and concerns you have. In other words, zero accountability. Almost forgot, they also expect you to trust in them to be magically and instantaneously restored. That's right, you go from them lying and cheating on you and within 24 hours or less, they expect you to trust them completely again. Two, moving forward, you never, and I mean never, mention the incident or incidents again. Even when the narcissist or borderline repeats the same destructive or dishonest behavior a few days later, how dare you hold the past against them? That's not fresh start behavior. Can't you let go of anything? <laughs> to clarify, narcissists don't want a fresh start. They want a blank slate regarding their behavior. Three, narcissists also want their preferred double standards to carry over into the fresh start. Meaning, oh, hold on, Google Calendar just commandeered my screen. There you go. Okay. Three, narcissists also want their preferred double standards to carry over into the fresh start. 
meaning the NPD or BPD holds on to each and every resentment and grievance they've ever had toward you, your family, your friends, colleagues, your kids, your pets, your car, your stamp collection, etc., in perpetuity. Why? Because it's different when they do it, that's why. Can't you feel the freshness? So do you see the problem with the narcissist definition of a fresh start? I mean, aside from being supremely one-sided and self-serving, there are several key elements missing to what a uh, normal would consider to be a fresh start. So let's identify those. One, there's no accountability, meaning the narcissist won't own their shitty behavior. Of course, you'll be expected to own any and all of the narcissist's complaint about you and or take the blame for the narcissist's abuse towards you. And this is, you know, the, their complaints that they have about your behavior, real or imagined, it, it doesn't matter. Also, the narcissist or borderline doesn't apologize. Or perhaps they'll give you a wishy-washy, non-apology apology without owning up to anything. With neither accountability nor consequences, for example, and that, that that's, that's, or specifically, that's what, that's the work that needs to be done to rebuild trust, okay? Accountability and consequences. Nothing will change in any meaningful way. Two, there's no recognition of how the narcissist or borderline's behavior impacts you and kids if you have them. Acknowledging that you have legitimate complaints means admitting they have serious problems. Okay? If your complaints are legit, then they've got to take some responsibility and own their stuff. And that's why they minimize, deny, and belittle your feelings and observations. In other words, if you're not being too sensitive or controlling or mean, if you're right, that means that they are, in fact, behaving like a selfish, irrational asshole. This is also why they quickly shift any discussion about your painful feelings to their feelings and grievances. They're the victim and you're at fault. Three, there's no real individual nor relationship work being done. Where's the self-reflection, the painful reckoning of truly looking at one's issues and destructive patterns, admitting the damage they inflict upon others and themselves? It's non-existent. Look, if you end up in couples therapy with them, they'll happily detail your shortcomings and failings, according to them. And when it's time to focus on their behavior, pff, gone, baby, gone. In summary, there's nothing fresh about the narcissist's definition of fresh start. Basically, narcissists and borderlines don't want to be held accountable they want their partner to accept their excuses and non-apologies and to carry on enabling them. A fresh start means their partner develops amnesia regarding their past abuses even after they resume their crappy behavior in the present. And since there's no real fresh start with these personality types, why not give yourself a fresh start? somewhere away from the narcissist or borderline and their unrepentant abuse and dishonest rationalizations for their selfish behavior. Again, I'm Dr. Tara Palmatier of shrinkformen.com. If you have a question or would like to schedule a session with me, you can reach me at shrinkformen at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and have a good day.